shall be built again with a broad place in the moat, but in troublous times. And after three score and two weeks, shall an anointed one be cut off. So it's like it's two weeks. There's eight and weeks. Christ left. was cut off. He was killed. But his end shall be where they fly. And to the end of the war, desolations are determined. The truth. That would be 70 AD. And he shall make a firm covenant with many for one week. For half of the week. So 70 AD, May 14th, 2018. And I'm making a covenant with many for one week. A half a week being seven years. Or half of... Three and a half years, half of seven years. That takes you to November 14th of this year. If you shall cause the sacrifice and the offering to cease at the death of Jesus Christ. But when is the 70 weeks? Does the 70 weeks take place as the literal 70 weeks? Or the 70 weeks of years, 70 years, or both. And one goes to one end, the other goes to the other. Just like a 14, 42 months, two witnesses for 42 months. They're the ones that withheld the rain. So they're the ones that can, those two witnesses can... In all likelihood, uh, literally withhold the rain and our physical rain that happens with controlling the, our planet, Mickey and Enlil, and, and then Marduk, though. So Marduk's the son of Inky, huh? Is he a madman? Is he going mad right now? Because there was such a plan. There was all of his life doctrine of this doctrine of that bachelor of this degree over here degree over there all these degrees all the knowledge bible inside and out matter of fact knows even what the spiritual meaning of the bible is and isn't teaching it so when the spiritual meaning of the bible actually comes true then marduk would turn into a madman don't you think 42 months they withhold the rain they those two witnesses have the truth that's why they're the two witnesses in just that one aspect of how that plays out and then two actual people that are witnessing to the God of the, the of heaven and earth meaning the spirit like two men or it doesn't matter really two could be women men and women one or the other two people on planet earth that would be standing before the god of heaven to witness to the fact that you're not god i'm not god nobody is truly God per se but God's possession God's children so two people would be testifying to that but they would have to get cut off because they're saying that you're not God but they're not saying they're God either and that's that's the whole thing People have been told that they are gods. So therefore, like the abomination of desolation standing in the holy place, your temple being the holy place that's being defiled because of your spirit, because of what you have inside of your head, Satan running you, running the flesh. He got you convinced that some people, you're born with a sinful nature, cut it off. However, you can also take that and invert it and have it standing up after a holy place was created inside of your vessel. Then 
you all right so you're supposed to cut that off why because that's what your sinful nature what do you call that satan the serpent so cut the serpent off cut off his head and that way you know you don't commit sin like that like that you'll commit other sin but you won't commit them like that and god will be well pleased with you that's just a trap and then as jesus the today jesus is telling you you know you got to be inverted and and that's the way to go to get rid of your sinful nature to cut off cut off uh you know satan there your serpent but yet there are those that speak and they have the serpent standing inside of their temple because he is now standing in the holy place which is your temple saying that he is god as many people have been told, ye are all gods. So, you were also told not to touch that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You're not to eat of the tree of life. And you did anyway. And so, the serpent is dominating your spirit and your body. And he's now standing in the holy place because he he sowed tares among the wheat. Some of the wheat got a tear in it, so then he sowed it up. That way, from the outside, you can say, "Oh, I'm clean. I, I have I am I have no desires of anything." But yet, every day at like noon or something, I don't know. Every day, the timer goes off and Lucifer reminds you how much he loves you. And so this, the temple of God, standing in the holy place, August 9th, That's, that was yesterday. This is just an observation of what I think until I can't uh, talk anymore or, or until I can actually start talking like, for real. So Satan's trick is to get you to have him stand in the holy place upright That way he can dwell in the temple of God and say that he is God. So the 70 years passed by. 42 months is almost up. From the time that the timeline of the nation of Israel becoming a nation again. The elite are the ones that plan that out. So you know they're going to play it out literally. It came and went. I wrote my little billboard thing, my little poster about 2018. Is this the seventh year tribulation? Trump and Pence, is this, is this the trumpets, the seventh trumpet? Did he begin the sound? So 70 years went and passed. 70 and 7 and 7. It's like the 7, 7, sevens. But also it's 10. It's 10, the, the number of complete 10 years since May 21st, 2000. And 11, 10 years, 5 months, heading to October 21st. And then there's, what was that? Is that 21 days? 21 days until 11-11. So there's 21 days until 11-11. There's 24 days 
being delivered on the on the first month and the 24th day of the first month well with if the two witnesses are dead in the street for those 42 months as if it's not dead in the streets for three and a half days or three days or three and a half it's dead in the streets where you're preaching like the YouTube platform dead in the streets for 42 months and then once the 42 month period hits I mean th these are facts of numbers whether anything happens or not who knows who does know but the numbers of the 70 years and the 42 months because right after the 70 years when it's determined or, the, or just say the 70 weeks there's the covenant made with many for one week and one week is seven years and in the middle of that week is three and a half years which would be coming up 11 14 2021 20, and Twenty-one days after that is eleven, eleven, and then three more days after that. So the first month, because you got to look at it like this: when the two witnesses have been killed and they rise back up, well, we've been waiting for that our entire lives, uh, everybody, since the beginning of creation, or at least the Bible in this realm of however long it's been written for. I'm sure none of it's. I'm sure none of what we were told was true about timelines of everything. Because how, how how old is this earth? How old is Satan's backyard? When did they decide to do the 150 year uh, like plan? 150 years ago? I mean, I don't know. I wasn't here then. I wasn't alive, so I don't think anybody was. I'll tell you. So when life enters back into God's witnesses, like it's, a, it's like a breath of fresh air, that to me would be the beginning of eternity. That would be the beginning of the new world. The world that is everything that has been before the beginnings of the foundation of the world, which is now until it begins, until the world actually begins. That life, to me, would be, that would be a deliverance like no other on the 24th day of the first month. Because the first month of a peace, a real peace deal, the beginning of life is going in this direction now after all of uh, God's people stepped up. And then 1260 days being nourished in the wilderness because there's a 42 month period and there's a 1260 day period but there's also 1290 days and there's also 1335 days but the nourish the nourishment would mean that the, that would mean that it would be a change of platforms it would be a killing off of the YouTube platform and then branching off into something else that is nourishing. All in, in November. November is 11 months. 11-11, 11, 11, the peace arrangement. Jonathan Clegg's channel got shut off June 14th, 2021. And five months exactly would be November 14th, 2021, which is exactly 42 months from uh, the 70th year of Israel becoming a nation again. 42 months, time, times and a half. Everything, like when, when the truth is in the center, you'll have this spirit over here, this spirit over here. This one wants to try to get you to believe that it already passed. This one wants to get you to believe when it already did pass that it's not yet 
And when things don't happen yet, and you think that they already did, well then you're jumping the gun and you're gonna get tricked. When things have already taken place, then you're too late. So if you're too late, you're three and a half years too late. When Nebuchadnezzar took over, remember, God was going to punish King Neb after 70 years. After 70 years, he'll be punished. When 70 AD, 70 AD, 70 years, nation of Israel, King Neb coming in, uh, sealing, sh sealing up the vision, the two witnesses are withholding the rain. I can't say anything yet. Holding the, the rain from coming down. Then that would mean that's already a three and a half year process. Three and a half more to go until seven full years of King Ned being humbled on earth. Or it's only seven seven times passes over. Seven what? Seven times what? Seven times thirty days? Seven months? Because Donald Trump, if you interpret it as seven months of getting playing the king that role slash uh, the uh, the main king, so there's Darius, and I guess you would say his predecessor or. Or his other character. Either way, uh, King uh, Cyrus, right? Myrily Cyrus. If he's just starting out now, if King Neb is in his first year right now, well then, somebody was already in charge for the first three and a half years. Is that Cyrus? Did I say Caesar? No, Cyrus. Either way you look at it, there's... Somebody is always going to be behind the eight ball, and somebody's always going to be in front of the eight ball. You're the eight ball, the eighth, and they're trying to... They're surrounding you surrounding you this group wants you to believe things have already taken place the fulfillments have already happened and then this one wants you to believe no, no we're not even there yet we're not even close when we already have been fulfilled and the other parts are saying no 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 it, it, it has been no that's already been fulfilled it, it hasn't so at what point are we at in the book of Daniel 70 weeks, 70 years. So 70 years are already up. That's already been determined. 70 weeks. Well, I have to do some math and see where that would end up. But if you subtract 70 weeks from 11, from November 14th, which is... Uh, because 70 weeks to me would mean it's like, all right, well, here's the 70 weeks that Daniel gets to prove that he's Daniel or not. So... Maybe we should make that towards the end of the three and a half years. There's 42 months because, or do we start at the very beginning of the next half when I, you know, when the Antichrist breaks the covenant with many that he, when broken promises happens throughout, because you don't think that that's going to happen. It does. And the anti, you know, the, the guy that's in charge, let's just say that one of the two because it's like Saul Saul which one are you who which one is Saul oh he's a both Saul he's a both playing the same role as Saul so as basically would just say when Saul breaks the covenant and becomes Paul when the transformation happens when when 
Lazarus rises from the dead. When all these stories are like the same, and it just seems like it's a continuance of a timeline, but it's really the same story. It's just it's Jesus and this guy and that guy and then and that guy, and then it's then it's Daniel over there, and it's it, and it's with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and it it's like it all keeps playing out. Forty-two months does it happen at the at the beginning of the time where now it's seventy weeks of like basically when you say it's seventy weeks of Daniel, I would see it as it's more like seventy weeks of punishment for everybody that that didn't believe, and that's all that is. It's just a punishment for everybody that didn't believe. A lot of people go mad even before that because you just can't fathom how that's going to happen. It doesn't make sense. We're all the, we are the Pharisees. We're the Sadducees. And we know the Bible inside now. How dare you think that you know anything, Robin? Where did you even come from anyway? Nobody even knows you. You're a loser. You just hop up on YouTube like four years ago, just right in time, right when we, you know, you popped up got our attention and we sent our best guys after you and one king fell and another king fell and, and here, sent up another king and, and he fell and then get another one and another one and the one is at this moment and then one is yet to come uh, when he I mean he's technically here but when he does come he'll come for a short space because he has a three day three day plan three and a half day plan Maybe going a little mad at the moment, but it look, it's. I think even your dad. I don't even know if he's telling you the truth. If your father is Satan, then he's a liar from the beginning. From the beginning of the foundation of the world. And then when the world starts, everybody's known already before the world begins. 70 weeks if you subtract from November 14th 2021 you know evening morning taking consideration the 13th going into the 14th it brings you to 711 2020 Trump said he was there at 711 but when I never seen him at 711 but when was he there what did that mean and is it the second 911 going to happen on 911 is it going to be 20 years or because it's known that it's going to happen, that it's not going to take place in Philadelphia on 9-11. Liberty 1, Liberty 2, 848 feet, Liberty 2, Liberty 1, 945. And the stumbling block. Christ is, Christ is the stumbling stone. Why is that? Like all of my life, the story of Jesus just didn't seem realistic. It, I it was, I never, I never said about the walking on water thing. I never said like in my heart like, yeah, it's definitely true. No, it's well, it's Jesus. It, look, he's different. He's how's he different? How is he different? Well, because he's God. Who said he's God? He said he was the son of God. You're saying he's God. Well, God manifests in the flesh. Well, so if he manifests in the flesh, does that mean that all of a sudden the human being is strictly God and, and God isn't still out in the spiritual realm where he always has been before you were even born, Jesus? And how can you walk on water? How, what's different about your flesh? Are you light? Do you have no... Are you a feather? How is it physically possible for anybody to walk on top of water without sinking? How is it possible to actually get killed and then rise back up three days later? Who's, who has seen this? Well, it's faith. It's faith that gets you. 
But you gotta use a little common sense as well with that. So Jesus, in my opinion, or in my in my deluded mind from being uh, brainwashed by whoever, whatever TV, whatever TV channel I turned on or listened to on a radio, hearing people talk, I can never wrap my brain around the fact that he had walked on water. And what is this talking in tongues? What, you can jibber jabber something and somebody's going to know what you're saying? Well, now I understand what that means. There's a stumbling block put in place by God. His son, which is not him, but they are one because they are intertwined in the same. The Holy Spirit also gets delivered because of the connection between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The, the Father puts people in place and it's free will so everybody practices their free will and they, and they teach the Bible in such a ridiculous way that you cannot possibly believe that a human being is perfect. So when Jesus is walking around it's like you're already looking at him like Steve, think you're perfect. No, he doesn't think that he's perfect because he knows that he wasn't as a human being in the flesh. But there's a period of time where he becomes perfect in the whole his ways because he knows what he's doing. Just like Noah was perfect in his generation. Just like Lucifer was perfect in, before iniqui iniquity was found inside of him. Everybody's perfect until but then Jesus wasn't perfect until so the stumbling block for me was believing that somebody could be perfect and not sin but how is that possible you're well because you're God well no wait no you're a human being you're, God is up I don't care what human being I see in front of me I'm not going to call you God just saying I'm not going to not going to do it because you're not the God, the God, the one that you'll never see. It's a spirit. It's just the same one that I've known before I hopped on YouTube. That's God to me. All of a sudden, he got a hundred different names. So my stumbling block was put in front of me because of what I was taught just by paying attention or being brainwashed. And it gave me a hard time. I... I was having a hard time believing in that particular but nevertheless I would just kind of eh, whatever I mean you know hey so be it I believe in Jesus he saved me while I was in jail I called out even though it was my conscious I was very consciously aware that I needed to change so I called out upon that name and then after Uh, like 17 years it worked it worked the name worked so the stumbling block for everybody else is this I believe this is my opinion Jesus wasn't perfect Jesus didn't physically die he didn't physically have nails driven between his hands and his and his feet he wasn't literally pierced in the side the Roman soldier knew that that was Christ when they killed him, when they killed that spirit back on May 14, 2018, and they put in place their guy. Their guy uh, is going to break the covenant that he made with them in the midst of that week, that seven-year period. And he didn't actually walk on water, but the water, the gospel, the... The people are nations and tongues. The waters are everybody. Walking on them. On them. Walking on the water. And he didn't know it all. Like, oh, what are you, Jesus? So perfect. You just know it all. Because the interpretation and what the Pharisees believe and what they were taught and what the Sadducees 
believe the stumbling block in front of the Jews was the fact that Jesus wasn't perfect and he didn't know it all. And it wasn't like he just started walking around like, hey, you, come here, get over here, follow me. And like, okay. And they throw everything down. He actually learned from his disciples and also taught through the speaking in parables, in tongues, in other words. And then once he speaks in parables, once he speaks in parables to his disciples, then his disciples start speaking in other tongues, like other languages and other people that have a tongue. He starts speaking in tongues to them. That way they can hear in their own language the wonderful works of God. And Jesus was born just like every other person in the flesh and had a sinful life before because as John the Baptist is proclaiming and baptizes Jesus, that's the time where you can say, and he walked perfectly in his ways. Because from that time on, it's a learning curve, the first like three and a half years. So you gotta learn, and they're gonna make rumors, they're gonna say that you died, and you're gonna get killed, and you're gonna chuck, cut off your tree, or break, even though the scriptures cannot be broken. But you're gonna hear all these things being said. Therefore, people are looking for Jesus at the moment to know it all, to uh, be perfect, never have sin, come from Nazareth, literally. So everybody knows, they see him, like, yeah, so there he goes, it's him, he knows it all, very knowledgeable. Has his disciples, and, I mean, it's all set up, perfectly planned out. That way, that specific person can actually say, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. So the stumbling block was the fact that you thought all these things about Jesus, and that's why the Pharisees were constantly at him with, yeah, but you, how? But it says here in Scripture, it doesn't matter what that says. What does God the Spirit say to you in your heart about common sense? What does he tell you about that? Obviously, if something doesn't line up in the Bible, it doesn't make sense. It's because it's a spiritual meaning. So therefore you stumbled over the stone that the builders rejected and was made a chief cornerstone by 